The Forza Racing Championship returns this weekend, with an invitational series spanning the next seven weeks. The series will run as a team-based championship, departing from the individual format that has been a mainstay of the series since its inception. Each team has a roster of three drivers plus a coach, with 13 teams that have been invited to the series each competing for one of the eight qualifying spots for the land finals held in Burbank, California, where a total prize pool of $250,000 will be up for grabs. But what is FRC and how will it work this year? Here at Veloce, we have all those answers for you as we get ready for Forza's biggest season yet. Now the series has adopted quite a bizarre way of matching teams against each other, so we'll try our best to explain exactly how the tournament works. So there are three rounds of racing held across six weeks. The 12 teams are drawn with the first four picked for the first race and the order of the draw determining their grid position. So for example, the first team drawn occupies first, fifth and ninth. The second team drawn occupies second, sixth and tenth and so on all the way to the four teams. These four teams race on the Saturday, with the team that accumulates the most points winning the group. They progress to race two, which is held on Sunday. In this race, the teams drawn fifth, sixth and seventh are present in their grid order of their draw. Here, the team that won on Saturday assume pole, fifth and ninth. Once again, the team that accumulates the most points progresses to race three, which takes place the following week with teams drawn eighth, ninth and tenth. Finally, the last three teams face the winner of race three and four. Still with us? Okay, right, let's go again. This process repeats itself twice more over the next four weeks until all three rounds of racing have concluded. Once these rounds are over, the teams that have achieved the fewest points and are therefore placed 13th and 12th are immediately eliminated. The top seven qualify for the land finals with the teams placed 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th entering a qualifying race where only the winner will join the other teams at the land finals in Burbank, California. The winner of each race will get 20 points with second getting 15. If you get onto the podium in third, you get 12 points with fourth getting 10, fifth gets eight, then sixth gets six, seventh, five, 8th gets 4, ninth gets 3, 10th gets 2 points with 11th getting the final points paying position. Unfortunately, if you do finish 12th, you will get 0 points. With that all out of the way, let's take a closer look at the teams and drivers who will be competing this year. First up is Alien Motorsport. Season 3 of the FRC saw AMS take the top step of the podium at the 24 hour of Le Mans, following Michael Roadrunner Coy's victory in France. Not long after this result, Roadrunner was picked up by Williams Esports, sparking a mass exodus from the team, with much of their top talent picked up by other teams. Since then, they have rebuilt and now fielded a relatively inexperienced roster in the form of Tiku, Storm, not to be confused with our incredible GT driver Storm, and Hurricane. It will be interesting to see how they get on and how close to their former glory they will be able to achieve. Next is Forza Racers Fast. Based in Brazil, FRF definitely don't get the same recognition as some of the top teams within Forza Esports. However, on their day, they can absolutely challenge for race victories. Within their lineup, Handicap could be considered the star man, but it isn't to say Tesla and Ball are not potential challengers in their own right. Jota Esports joined the Forza RC for the first time in 2019. Following on from their success in the Le Mans Esports series earlier this year, Commando is joined by two other ex-JSR drivers in the form of South and Boquet, as well as coach Craviator, who has spent his first season away from competing in his new role at Jota. This roster is one of the strongest on the grid and definitely within contention for the overall victory. Jota are one of several racing teams who have esports counterparts competing in Forza RC this year. The boys in pink over at Lazarus come into Forza RC with a point to prove. Ex Veloce Esports drivers Tobin Racers Lee and Dan Force One Nyman are joined by another ex JSR driver, Ross Rossi May, to complete one of the youngest rosters on the grid. Questionable stewarding decisions left racers down and out at the end of the 2018 season, so he'll be looking to come back strong, and his chemistry with Force One in particular should aid him with this. The pair have raced with each other for a while. First at now defunct F4H, where they won the 2018 preseason invitational in Seattle. Keep an eye on Lazarus as a team that will challenge for overall victory. Chinese team Mordor Game Club are one of the two unknowns on the grid, 
as Forza RC China Joy Invitational Champions. MGC have clearly got a talented roster of drivers, however when matched up against the rest of the FRC grid, they haven't always performed. Chick Pizza is the most established driver in their roster, while Jay Rich has moved into a coaching role within the team. It would be difficult to see them making the LAN finals, but we wish them luck. Racing Dragon Esports enter Forza RC as a new team. And if we're totally honest, it's unclear as to why. Their three drivers are all from the ESV team and RDE haven't to our knowledge ever competed ahead of the Forza RC. Regardless, their roster of Kami, Chasmo and Hydra will be fairly strong, although we imagine they'll be right on the cutoff when it comes to making the LAN finals. Red Bull Racing Esports will undoubtedly come into this series as the favourites. The number one and number two seed from the 2018 season in the form of Laysian Box have teamed up, with number five seed Venom joining them to complete their roster. What's more, ex-team Vitality driver ASICS is their coach for this season, meaning they are an almost unbeatable squad. Anyone who wishes to challenge the partnership of esports giants G2 and F1 team Red Bull Racing will have a very, very tough time. Rise Motorsports, home of Chris and Chris, and yes, those are two different people, Rise are a traditional community team, and they'll be bringing that philosophy of fresh talent into this season of racing. We imagine Rise will surprise a few people with the pace that they have as a team, and expect them to make the land finals when all is said and done. Their very bright orange liveries courtesy of Team Pay to Phoenix will ensure people will definitely take notice of them. Okay, so we may be a little bit biased here, but we are big fans of Sauber Esports here at Veloce, considered the old boys of Forza. Sauber were picked up shortly after the legendary TPR team was revived, and they'll be hoping to prove they've still got what it takes to win, even though many of their generation have moved on to coaching roles. Dave Davy Skills did just that earlier this year when he won the Le Mans Esports Series with us here at Veloce Esports. He's joined by Alex Chemical and Felipe Zoom Reese, who consistently ranked third during the 2018 season. The final piece of the puzzle is Zermatt, who takes on the role of coaching the roster. We mentioned the two enigmas earlier on, and here's the other. SMP Racing joined the Forza RC following on from their Le Mans Esports attendance. The Russian team has had success in real life racing, however their esports team struggled in France, finishing dead last. The players and coach are almost entirely unknown within the community, and so it's difficult to predict exactly how well they will do. But it's always good to have a real life racing team get on board with the esports world, so we wish the Russians good luck. Team Highlands Racing have done very well on Project Cars, with their man operator dominating the scene. However, they've never really been able to take on the best of the best on Forza. In 2019, they aren't messing around though. They've assembled a rapid squad consisting of longtime privateer Rich92, Veloce Esports driver Virus, who is also on loan there, and finally ex-AMS driver Europa, who brings a specialism in the tricky P-Class cars. THR have a real shot at not only making the land finals, but challenging the top teams too. We are very excited to see our boy Virus and the rest of the team bring the fight in 2019. TX3 have been in Forza RC since the very beginning. In fact, Lage actually won season one while selling to the team. The French sim racing team enjoyed backing from the team LDLC and have star man Taylor Lighting Stormski leading their roster. He for a long time was Lage's biggest rival. However, the resurgence of Box and introduction of newer players like Mitch has left Lightning a little further from the top than he'd like. He's joined by Mr. Jack and Wesley, with Papali coaching the team. A strong lineup that should easily qualify for the LAN finals. And finally, we get to Williams Esports. They have one of the strongest teams on the Forza RC grid, with season three champion Michael Roadrunner Coy teamed up with Gary Mitch Mitchell and Frenchman Seven. We expect them to be the team closest to Red Bull Racing Esports alongside Lazarus. The 2018 season saw the rise of Mitch as a true contender on the FRC stage, taking free podiums at free LAN events. And so we expect him to continue this form at the 2019 Invitational. The biggest news with Williams is the pickup of Harmonic as coach, who will bring his wealth of knowledge and experience as an old school Forza competitor. He qualified for the original World's Fastest Gamer competition, as well as picking up strong results in various other Forza competitions, including the Forza RC and the Le Mans Esports Series. So that is all the teams taking part in the 2019 Forza RC Invitational. Who do you think will win and who will you be supporting? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to check out our previous Esports 101 videos. But until the next one, it's goodbye from me.
The F1 Esports Pro Series returns for its third season this week, and it will see Brendan Lee defend his title for the second time from the quickest guys on F1 2019, including Veloce drivers Daniel Bresne and Sally Soltonk, who drive for Alpha Romeo Racing, and also Alec van der Waal, who joined McLaren Shadow in the Pro Draft. But how 